Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this topic, you will learn how to set up an employee tips field in Sage 50 Accounting. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to set up and use an employee cash tips field during payroll entry and when printing tax forms. When you first set up payroll using the Payroll Setup Wizard, you are given the opportunity to create an employee cash tips field that is used to track the taxable wages earned by an employee through tips. After the Payroll Setup Wizard is completed, you can no longer access the tips option again through payroll settings. However, manually creating a tips field is a straightforward process that does not require the Payroll Setup Wizard to complete. Let's walk through manually creating an employee tips field. To begin, access the Employees and Payroll Navigation Center, click the Payroll Setup icon, and then select Set Up Employee Defaults. On the Employee Defaults window, select the Employee Fields tab. On this tab, scroll down to the first unused row. Enter a name for the field that will be used to track employee tips. The word tips is a system reserved name, so enter something unique, such as EMP tips. Leave the general ledger account field blank and check memo for the field. Note that when you check memo, the general ledger account field is disabled. By checking memo, you're telling the program that the amount entered into the field when processing a check should not be recorded as a wage expense in your general ledger or on your financial statements. Click OK to initialize the new field. Now let's open the Employee Defaults window again and access the Employee Fields tab. The next steps are very important. You will now instruct the federal and state tax formulas to include the amounts entered into the TIPS field as part of the employee's taxable gross. For example, click the Adjust button for the Federal Income Tax Formula row and the Calculate Adjusted Gross window will display. In the Employee Fields table, check Use next to the new Tips field. Do not worry about the Add or Deduct boxes. They do not affect how the Federal Income Formula adjusts the employee's gross wages for tips. Let's click OK to return to the Employee Defaults window. Repeat this step for all tax formulas that should include tips as part of the employee's gross wages during payroll entry calculations. Be aware that company contribution formulas may need to include tips as taxable gross as well. Once you are finished, the tips field will be available for use on the payroll entry task window. To use this field, you should first prepare the employee's base gross wages by entering the number of hours they have worked or the salary amount they have earned for the pay period. After entering the gross pay information, scroll to the tips field in the Taxes, Benefits, and Liabilities table and enter the tips the employee earned for the pay period. This amount should be entered as a positive number. You'll notice that because we checked memo for the field in Employee Defaults, the amount entered will not increase the net amount of the check. But because the field was added as part of the employee's adjusted gross in the Adjust window of the appropriate tax formulas, the taxes will add the tips amount to the employee's gross and update their calculations. You'll also want to include the tips amount on line B of your quarterly 941 and in box 7 of the employee's W-2. To add employee tips to these fields, click the Payroll Setup icon. On the Payroll Settings window, expand Taxes and select Assign Tax Fields. Now let's click the W-2 Fields button. In the Social Security Tips drop-down list, select the Employee's Tips field. Click OK, and then click Finish to exit the Payroll Settings window. Now when you process the Federal Form 941 for the quarter, or when you print the Employee's W-2, both will report the employee tips entered during payroll entry as Social Security tips. As a final note, some companies may handle credit card tips income different from cash tips income. If you want charge tips to be reported separately from cash tips, additional setup beyond what is instructed in this topic will be required. 
To learn how to record and track charge tips separately from cash tips, access help in the program, and on the index tab, enter charge tips in the keyword field. Instructions will display that will walk you through setting up credit card tips tracking. This concludes our look at manually adding an employee cash tips field. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to set up and use an employee tips field during payroll entry and when printing tax forms. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, please visit us at sageu.com.